On this episode, we leave behind all the hot and wet fun in Kusamoy and fall absolutely head over heels for this cute little island of Kotal. And even though nothing goes as planned over the next four days, we enjoy walking around the island and the incredible marine life. This is the story of a family of four traveling the world as often as possible, sharing their adventures. Join us all on this season as we find exciting new places to explore, living this crazy life on the go. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and then also get notified when we release new videos. It really helps us out a lot. Just want to show what progress looks like. We are leaving Kusamoy today, and we are heading to... I have no idea. Kotao, another island. So we are getting uh, packed up. The kids are actually going to pack their own clothes. So this is what progress looks like for mom. I'm loving it. Where's your clothes? <clears throat> My clothes are done. And uh, we're gonna get packed up and head out. So we've made it to the pier and got all checked in. Got the tags on ourselves and then also on the bags. And the boat we board at 12.15 and it leaves at 12.30. Should be about, what I say, an hour and 45 minutes? Yeah. Should be a nice, Ride. Looks pretty smooth out there today. The kids are gonna eat some lunch before we get on the boat and then arrive in Koh Tao. I'm eating a chicken salad. Kind of excited to go to Koh Tao because we don't have anything planned. And so for Joel and I, we just want to dive and we want to have good dives and good snorkeling. So I think we're there for three or four days. So I hope we can get some good, good relaxing dives in. Anything profound? Hot, moist. I'll try not to. Whoa, something spooked it. Second stop. Second stop, okay. Okay, let's go downstairs to the AC. Once you arrive on the island, you can take a vehicle most of the way to your hotel. However, many places are only accessible by scooter or walking. This is a lot nicer than the last hotel. I mean, the view can't be beat. Wow. Hi. Me and Eddie are going to explore the rock. I think that's a great idea. I kind of walked out there and it was hot, so I came back out because I didn't have my shoes on. Really? <sighs> you should think hard. They're not smarter. Okay, I don't think if, that's the way that goes. I think it's the other way. <laughs> think harder, not. No, think smarter, not harder. Yeah, there you go. I want to jump in, but I don't want to get my sandals wet. After getting settled into the hotel and taking our breathtaking views, we set out in search of a place to eat. On the way, we were instantly drawn into this colorful main strip. Almost everything is on the west side of the island and it is easily walkable to any restaurant, bar, beach, tattoo parlor, and pot shop. The fun, friendly vibe is amazing for all of the ages and it grabbed a hold of us and it didn't let go. Oh, that is a pretty cool drink. I was telling River, my sidekick here. I'm not your sidekick. And my second sidekick, Desmond. Hey. That today is a momentous occasion for me because this is like the longest I have ever carried a purse in my life. I only carried mom's. And we were not too far from Cabaret Street and nobody even blinked an eye at me. It's not a purse. The magic bag. The magic bag. I only that is, the see, magic bag. I am a child of the 90s and the older generation can relate. A magic bag is something totally <laughs> different. So we've walked by so many tattoo parlors and stuff like that. And I see so many young girls making so many lifelong mistakes. <laughs> you ladies. That one, that one was getting like a tattoo of a, I don't know, a 
Volkswagen symbol around her belly button because she thought it was cool. My hands are slipping off the <laughs> No, it's because she thought that she's always going to be that same size and that that way, and the tattoo's always going to look like that. But um, wait till your 30s, wait till you have children, wait till yep. you're 40. Yep, yep. That, that tattoo's not going to look the same. That pretty little butterfly turns out looking like Mothra. Yesterday started great. And then we got to the hotel and kind of went downhill from there. <laughs> Unfortunately, the air conditioner in our rooms have not been working and it's really frustrating because we tried to be really proactive and make sure that everything was done before we got here so that you know we didn't have to deal with things. So, you know, when we travel, we understand that there's always going to be hiccups, but I don't want to spend my vacation having to tell hotels that their faucets are broken in the, in the bathroom, or that their air conditioners aren't working, or that there's no hand towels. And it seems to be like every hotel we go to, no matter how many stars we stay in or whatever, there's always an issue and we really try not to be picky. We really do. But I think it's it's also wearing on us a little bit. And I know that sounds like, oh, woe is me, poor thing, you're traveling. And, but these are things that make traveling difficult. And, you know, I wasn't feeling the best yesterday. And then to not have air conditioning was really hard because it was very, very hot. So it's a new day and it's gorgeous. So we are going to make the best of it and we are going to have a great day. Today's gonna to be better, we know it. What are we doing? <laughs> We're gonna go down to a dive shop and look at goggles and we need a new snorkel. And... We'll probably go snorkeling yeah, in a little bit. We're right in front of our hotel. And then we'll jump in the pool afterwards. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Going snorkeling? Yeah. Yeah, let's check this out. Does it work? Oh Ooh. my gosh, it's like a pot. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was about to actually chill in this. It's this like is like tub. not cold at all, is it's it? It's a hot tub. It's like a hot tub. When you move. Oh. octopus around here. That's what that black spot is. It's an ink spot. It's impossible to walk through here and not Step on a sea slug. They're everywhere. Oh, that whole rock in front of them is completely oh. covered. Wow, look at all these crabs. We leave right here. You should see the outside of it over here. Yeah, I see it over here. No, you should see the outside of it over here. It's crawling. I saw one go in the water. They're all over every one of these rocks. Yeah. The hills are alive with little crabby. Show me, show your mom. The other ones. <laughs> and they disappear. There's like really bright blue ones. Oh yeah, there's a bright blue one right there. Smile like we love each other. So we're on our way now to go have dinner. Our day has kind of been interesting. We had a phenomenal snorkel this morning. It was absolutely great. The visibility wasn't the greatest just because it was like really choppy out there, but so many humongous fish and the coral was incredible. We saw so many massive clams that were super cool, um, parrotfish. So it just really, really makes me excited for diving. And we're gonna either try to do that tomorrow or the next day. We may rent scooters tomorrow. Not exactly sure yet. And I think that we absolutely love Kotao. 
I think we love this island. It is really, really, really cool. I gotta walk down this steep hill now. <laughs> See if I can fall on my head while I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, we, after we went snorkeling, we went back to the resort and we swam in the pool, which was great. The pool was just perfect temperature. Um, and then they're still working on the air conditioner in our room and have been for most of the day. So we haven't been able to go in there, but luckily our patio has nice breeze that kind of comes through. And so we're able to sit out there and I did some work while they worked on the air conditioner. So um, now we're, like I said, we're gonna go try to find some dinner in this amazing island. I love this island, it's so cool. These things are loud. You know, it's like the worst car alarm ever. Oh. I can't imagine someone playing this. What are they? <laughs> no, what are they? Oh, I don't know. It's June bugs, potato, something like that. We just got done eating pizza at there. What did you think of your pizza? Pretty good. Yeah, you liked it? Yep. Nice. All right. Now we got to go catch up to your dad. Watch where you're going. Turn off your phone. <laughs> you can't walk across these streets with your phone oh, it's in your hand. Here, by the way. It's so we can walk across the street. Will they ever make it across the street? No. Dun, dun, dun. No? Well, yes. Uh, bummer. What? Sweaty. What you doing? Trying to rent some scooters. What? Check some stuff out. Gonna go right around the island? He said everywhere takes only about seven minutes. Could you imagine living seven minutes from everything? That's like living on camp. River's super excited about it. No, I'm it. not. Look at her. She's just she's just buzzing with excitement. Oh, I'm in the hive. Super happy to rent these scooters. So you're more freaked out about what? I'm not. I'm not freaked out. I just haven't really driven a motorcycle in a little while. Or staying left. Or staying left. So that's <laughs> gonna be definitely um, something that's gonna be challenging, I think, but also you people walk on either side of the road, so you kind of are like, it seems like they just zigzag in and out anyway. Um, so yeah, and Des and I are gonna go on one bike, and Dad and Riv are gonna go on another. Yeah. So I'm gonna go put some shorts on them. I just went back to the room to grab the mounts for the DJIs and so we can put them on the scooters. So we've rented the scooters and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a little nervous, but I don't wanna tell my kids because I don't want them to get nervous either. So we decided to scrap the scooter idea because I just really didn't feel comfortable on it. It kind of was wobbly and you know, I haven't driven a car in a really long time and then not being on a motorcycle for a while I just, you know, I just didn't want to ruin our vacation by doing something stupid and hurting myself and panicking or whatever. So instead, we're going to go snorkeling again. I will guarantee this is more fun than riding a motorcycle for me. I prefer to be in the water. Fish are huge! Oh my god! And the ones I fight were huge. I mean, this really is just what? Yeah. It's just. Wish we'd have felt confident enough to ride around the island. I know. I'm but sorry. I, no, I didn't. I didn't feel confident with her in the back. I mean, I rode okay. it and it rode just fine, but I was like, I don't. yeah. And she rode with me up and down the hill. And I was like, it's okay. I just, yeah. I would prefer to ride around for a while before I, when I got comfortable. Yeah. What did you think of that uh, snorkel? It was okay. There's a lot of dead coral. It wasn't amazing as the last one. As yesterday? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Those fish were huge. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen fish that me and Dad saw. Me and Dad saw it. Uh, what are those little black spiky things? Uh, sea urchins. I saw a lot of them and warned Dad. I know. I saw a lot of sea urchins too. 
so I warned him, Dad. No good idea. Cause you don't want to touch those, that's for sure. Why? Because they hurt. They sting. What do they, what do, they do, though? Nothing. They sting. It hurts. Yeah. I've never been stung by one, but I don't want to. Whoa. Now we already do we go. Mom needs beer huh. and the pool. Me too. All right. No, you can't have a beer. No, I need a water. <laughs> I need a, the pool. So there is some serious lightning going on outside, which is the first time we've seen lightning in a very, very long time. So I'm going to go set up the camera and see if we can catch some of it. So what was the plan for today? Before you spent all night awake partying oh, yeah. uh we really didn't have a plan for the morning i think we were kind of gonna try to explore the island a little bit uh because we leave tomorrow morning early tomorrow morning and since we kind of spent the first few days dealing with the hotel we didn't get to go diving and that was like the one thing we wanted to do here and i think i got food poisoning last night and I spent all night long throwing up, among other things. And we were scheduled to go diving this afternoon. And I can't. Because if I throw up underwater, I'll die. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, not, a, not a wise decision. And I don't feel great, but I feel like I want to go diving so bad that like, I'd be like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I can make it work. Yeah, till you, till you get down there and an emergency happens and hurt yourself bad. I just feel like Kotal has been like I've let everyone down with Kotal just because like we were going to take the scooters and I didn't feel comfortable on the scooters and didn't want to hurt myself because that would have ruined our vacation. Now I can't go diving, which I know you wanted to do, and I feel like I'm letting you down. I'm letting mm. myself down. You're more of the dive one. I know. I go diving for you. I really am letting myself down by not going diving, and I just, I still feel like shit. I feel, I feel yucky. Yeah. So and that's just, why we're not going diving today. I'm just, I've got it. I'm just really sad. Yeah. I'll take the kids. We'll find an adventure. To go find pizza. Pizza? French fries. <laughs> Maybe some burgers. Who knows? It's kind of. Oh, we got a little convenience store right here. There we go. That's where we get mom's noodles. There's kind cool. of sprinkling right now. It is sprinkling. Figured I'd take the family out for a nice lunch. Yeah, I'm playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> And mom wants a cup of noodles and maybe we'll find some snacks because guess what tomorrow is? We're going! Boat trip! Next place. Okay. So we'll get some snacks. And what do we forget every time we go out, River? We forget to bring a bag. Mm -hmm. So every time we have to buy a bag. Ugh. Are you going to send that to mom? Yeah. We love you! <laughs> what? Dad, I gotta watch you try. Oh, God, I can't even imagine what I look like right now. Complete crap. <laughs> sure. There's no saving you. So I'm yeah. eating that. <laughs> Let's hope it stays down. Let's hope it's not too spicy. I didn't put the spicy packet in there. I only put the other one in there. Mm. It doesn't really taste like anything. Well, there you go. It's oriental style. I guess. Got nothing on top ramen. <laughs> <laughs> if you love us out there, send us some top ramen. Oriental flavor, please. What do we'll they even call, take beef. What do they chicken. call that now? They call that soy sauce now or something like that? Because you can't, you can't, we're in the Orient and they call it, they call it Oriental flavor. 
This one's oriental flavor, but we can't do that in the United States. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Anyway, if you want to send us some travel snacks, send us some top ramen, oriental flavor, beef flavor, or chicken flavor. Those are our favorites. We can't get them on our side of the world. <laughs> the noodles gave me the energy I needed to get up and pack. We were extremely sad to leave Koh Tao, but we know we'll be back someday and explore more of this island that has stolen our hearts. But now it's time to move to Koyonoi, where we get a surprise pool visitor and enjoy a great day of island hopping. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before heading over to Patreon, where you can support our efforts even further. You get exclusive content, ad-free videos, and so much more just for showing your love. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.